Hey and welcome to yet more lessons in Lesson Up. This time we're going to be looking at how to add a poll to your lessons. Now adding polls is really easy so this is going to be a nice short video for you uh, which might just help you if you're struggling with some of the niche different elements or different changes you can make to adding polls. So first we're going to start with our nice blank lesson as always and we're going to press add uh, and we're going to look for the poll option which is just down here. Now when I press that I've got a few extra options in you so stay tuned to uh, see what this is all about. Uh, but for now we're just going to create our own and it brings up with the default poll options now here we've got a lot of different things that we can do so first let's pick a question um, nice easy question a nice one to ask your students if you're uh, you know wanted to find more about your own practice and now we've got some different options underneath so the ways that we can have people respond to our polls are varied so the first is just by simply having text options where we can keep adding as many as we'd like fill in the text simple as that and our students can click the right answer or the answer they deem to be right during the lesson the second option is we can have emojis uh, now emojis just come up like this so you get a kind of scale sad to happy uh, content to discontent depending on how you want to word it to your students that's the option and then they just simply can press the right uh, face that matches their feelings uh, and the third option is a sliding scale. Now a sliding scale is good because your students can then pick between some slightly different numbers and you can change the values of these numbers here so if you think 100 is too much and maybe your students might not get that you can put that down. This is also a really great way to get answers for maths questions for example um, or you could even use it as a kind of number line to gauge maybe years between events or how far apart you think these two places in history are. Again, lots of different ways for you to use polls. There's just some uh, extra examples. So let's go back to our standard and show you some of the options here. So this is our text option. So I'm going to type in my answers. And then here I can change uh, some, some more elements. So the text option doesn't have to be text. We can also have images. So I can get rid of that, um, pick the images, and from here I can upload an image, search in, in, in Lesson Up, uh, or search the internet. So let's have a look. If I type in um, one of my options here, Perfect, I mean, probably not the best use of the photo feature, but at least it shows you how it's done. Uh, and then from here I can use different options, I can make sure it fits, um, I can get rid of the image, or I can completely change it to a different image if I'd like to do. And that's the image option. And then here, it just basically we can change how we display our results by default. Now, you can actually change these in the lesson. So once you've got some answers, Lesson Up will allow you to switch between these two as often as you want. So really, this is just how it will be displayed initially, allowing you to flick between them if it's something that you would like to do. As per usual, our normal editing tricks are still here and still in operation. So I can change the background of my slides up here. I can change images for the background. I can favorite my slide and change the, the size of my text in this top menu here. Uh, also, I can make it bold um, by putting in a separate component. So if this isn't the text I want, I could always add a text component, get rid of this, and have different text over the top instead, which I can make bold, like I said, italic, or whatever it is that you want to fill your lessons formatting needs. So that's how you insert a poll into Lesson Up. Everything will just work. Once you press play on that lesson, the question will come up and prompt your students to answer. Just like with everything else in Lesson Up, it's very intuitive. I hope that's answered any questions you've got about polls and have fun using polls in Lesson Up. Thanks.